Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. It's time for another episode of the Leanna and Andy Show. Come join us. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Andy, and I'm really happy that you're here. Yes, it is collab day, and it is another collab with Leanna Dalton. We are doing a monthly collab, and this is our collab for May. And we are doing the So Fly palette from ColourPop. If you know Leanna, you know why we're doing this. It has a dragonfly on it, and dragonflies are Leanna's favorite creatures on this earth. Yes, they are. Um, in honor of Leanna, I am wearing my dragonfly earrings. I sure am. So let's have a look at this palette, shall we? As Leanna would say, look how pretty that is. It is a beautiful palette. It is a beautiful palette. Uh, we are not doing a bingo. We Because it's only a nine pan palette, we're just... Uh, we're just doing our thing. I love the little, little dragonfly and the little scroll work and stuff like that. It's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Okay, guys. I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. This is Leanna and I's third, third one-on-one. -on -one. We've been in a lot of group collabs together. But she is one of my best good friends. And I am super excited for this. So, let's see what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to go into that speedy. And I'm just going to put that in my transition area. That is a very, very pretty palette. Um, when I bought the whole bug collection, um, I was pleasantly surprised with the formula. I did swatch them um, off camera. I swatched them. I'm just thinking about doing um, a swatch video of the whole collection. What do you guys think? You want to see the whole thing? And what I mean by that is the the palettes, the super shocks, and the um, powder highlighters. Powder, what are they called? They're called something else, but they're basically highlighters. Um, not the lip oils because the lip oils really don't have any color to them. Got some staining on this eyelid from a previous look that I did. I did use primer, um, but it was very, very pigmented. It was a Ace Butte palette. Okay, guys, I think that's enough of that. Um, I'm going to take my, oh, this was Angie Hot and Flashy. Um, A503, A503, I think A503. Um, and I'm the, I'm going to take this, this crown brush right here. It's another big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into that colorful and put that in my crease. Oh, that's a pretty shade. I have not used this. I have swatched it, but I have not used this palette yet. Get out of there. I don't know why I put my hair back. It still falls in my eyes. I need to go back to using my big clips. That did some strange things to my hair, though. When I took my hair down at the end, um, it was it was a little weird looking. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Leanna does. I wonder if we're going to use the same shades or different shades. Um, I think we're definitely going to use some of the same shades because there's only nine pal nine pa nine pans. Um, I'm going to go into this Depart. And I'm going to put that in my outer V and in my crease a little bit. There's a pretty warm brown shade. Coincidentally, that is the same shade that I have on my brows. I do like to do my brows with eyeshadow and a um, like a, a brow brush, a liner brush, small liner brush. I do, I do, I do. Um, I don't know. I feel like I have more control. I feel like I get more coverage of my brows, and my brows are very cool. They're a very cool shade because my natural color, while it's gray now, um, 
was a very, very ash, dark, dark ash brown. Um, so my eyebrows are very dark ash brown. Sometimes when I color my hair, I do color my eyebrows. Um, I don't recommend that. I, as Ash says for Makeup and Chaos, I am not responsible for your eyeballs. I don't know what brush this is. Oh, it's a BH. It's a BH Cosmetics brush. It's just a little smaller, like a crease brush type thing. I'm going to take that brown under my eye a little bit, not all the way over. Just a little bit. Now i got to get them to match. I like this eye better, this side better than this side. This uh, brown is a little patchy, a little bit patchy. Just saying. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take this e.l.f. brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. And I'm gonna go into that dark. No, I'm not taking that e.l.f. brush. That's not the e.l.f. brush I thought I had. Stand by. Okay, this little guy, this little e.l.f. brush. And I'm gonna go into that damselfly. And I'm going to put that in my corner, just right in my corner to deepen that up a little bit. So I'm sure that you already know who Leanna Dalton is. If you do not, why not? Um, she has a really, really great channel. She does makeup. She does some unboxings. Um, she does a lot of product reviews for women over 50. Uh, makeup product reviews for women over 50. Very informative. Researches everything. She loves her some research. So, of course, her video is going to be listed in the description box below, as is the, her channel link in the description box below. And I strongly urge you to go over and check her out if you don't know who she is. Because I just love her. I just love her. I really, really do. Um, she is very supportive. She is a very supportive friend. She uh, is very, like I said before, very informative. Like I've learned so much about YouTube from her because she does research. And she just wants to better herself and better her channel. Take that underneath just a little bit. I am getting a little bit of fallout. Um, just a little bit of fallout right here and right here. Which I will clean that up at the end. Okay, you guys. Um, I am going to go into this wing trip. Beautiful, beautiful teal shimmer beautiful teal shimmer i'm not going to put any any uh glitter primer on but i may spray my brush i'm gonna see i'm gonna see how it does oh yeah i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to spray it because that is not very pigmented there we go I'm going to put that on the center of my lid a little bit, a little bit closer to the inside, but I'm not going to take it all the way over. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful teal shimmer. Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous. Pretty. So pretty. So, so pretty. Uh, where's the other brush I had? I had another flat brush. What'd I do with it? I'm going to go into this FYI. Is it FYI? Yes, I'm going to go into this FYI. It seems to have a shift to it, which is really a little odd. Um, and I'm going to put that in the front part. What did I just do with my... I'm going to put that in the front part of my lid. Oh my gosh. You guys. That is a for real. 
I don't I don't even think it's a duochrome. It might be a multi-chrome. Blend that line in the middle there a little bit. Holy shnikes. Like that is so much different than what I thought it was going to be. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when it's swatched, it's swatched like a peachish, a peachy shade. That is not a peachy shade. That is gore just. Oh my gosh, you guys. I kind of wish I'd have known that. I did swatch it, but I don't remember that. Look at that. In the pan, it looks silver. When I swatch it, I don't even know if you can tell. See how that looks like peach? See that? Like from the side, you're seeing it from the side. It looks peach. Okay, now I'm gonna have to do something a little different to the top because I don't like how the top looks. So I'm gonna go back into that Angie Hot and Flashy and I'm gonna put that colorful and blend that out a little bit at the top. I'm also gonna blend, oh man, I just hit, I hate when I put my brush in the wrong thing. Um, I'm also gonna blend the outer edges of that brown because that just didn't do what I wanted it to do. That brown didn't. I thought it was gonna be warmer than that. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna go into that wingtip, that, that teal. And I'm gonna put that underneath my eye. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. I am gonna take a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend out the top up here. And I'm gonna take uh, another brush, uh, another hot and flashy. This is the A502. And I'm going to put this flight path in my inner corner. I'm gonna do my inner corner. I always like to bring it down a little bit and blend it with whatever I have. in the inner corner at the bottom and on the t at the top. Oh my gosh, that, that duochrome is crazy. Uh, and then I'm gonna take that flight path and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone for some highlight. All right, guys, I'm gonna call that done. Um, I'm going to go off camera and do my liners, lashes, lips, and clean up my fallout. Yes, I am. So I will see you in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Finished look. This is a beautiful palette. I love this palette. You want to see it again? I'll show it to you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. This, this shade in the middle... That was ridiculous. Like that shocked the heck out of me. I'm not even kidding. And then this pretty teal, beautiful, beautiful, um, way even more beautiful than what I thought it was going to be. What I used on the rest of my face is I used the Trey Steak black liner. Um, I did just at the lash line. I didn't want to make it too dramatic and I did tight line with it. And then on my waterline, I used the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. It is a teal. Let's see if it tells me what shade it is. Cat suit. I think that's what it says. Cat suit. But it's a pretty 
really pretty, pretty, pretty um, teal color. So I thought that that would be really good for um, to match the teal, you know. Um, and then my lashes are the Give Them La La Two Coats. And then the Superhero It Superhero uh, Mascara. And I really love the brush on this. It's not too big, but it is a natural bristle, br bristle brush, which is what I really, really like. And then on my lips, I used the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Liner in Totally Toffee. And I paired that with the e.l.f. Matte Liquid Lipstick, one of my favorites. And uh, because it was so matte, um, I used the Lux Lip Oil from this line. There's the little dragonflies on it. Um, it, it. It just has a really pretty uh, sheen to it. It's a little bit of a gold shimmer, but not overpowering. And then uh, as my highlighter, I kind of went a little crazy with the highlighter, guys. But I wanted to be really, like, bright and glowy. Glowy. I used the Soul, uh, the Soul Body. This is the Shimmering Body Powder, which I just call highlighter. And it is in the shade Bronze Hour. And this is what that looks like. And it is just such, such a pretty, glowy. I can't wait to use this this summer when I have some color on my skin. Yes. A little bit of color never hurt anybody. I want to thank Leanna Dalton for another amazing collab. Love collabing with her. Um, as I said, it's a monthly thing. We're going to do it monthly. Not on the same day, just monthly. So be on the lookout for future collabs. Her video will be linked in the description box below as well as her channel. Please go check her out. If you've never visited her channel, I strongly urge you to do that. Um, she's hilarious. She's informative. Um, just very entertaining. And I mean that in a funny way and then a not funny way. Like she's just entertaining. She grabs your attention and you just keep watching. I love her. I absolutely love her. Genuinely love her. So thank you guys so much for joining us for our collab today with the SoFly so Fly palette from ColourPop, Dragonfly in order of Miss Leanna Dalton. I appreciate you being here. Everyone have a great day, and until our next adventure, we'll see you later.